Hey everybody, I quickly want to show you how to get a sound effect you may have built in Pro Tools mixed down. So if you have something that you've built out of several layers and you want to combine it into a single file, a single sound, how you would do that. So I'll show you two different ways. One would be the standard way you would just output a soundtrack. So I could select, let's say that this is my sound that I've built here. It's these four layers. You can say I have three stereo tracks, one, two, three, and one mono track. I could just select kind of the length of it. I could do the same thing with the cursor if I wanted, kind of go like this. And you'll notice it doesn't matter which track I'm selecting. I could select it down here, select it up here, select it here, or hold down shift and select a whole bunch of tracks. It really just matters for our purposes right now, the length of time I'm selecting. So what I'm actually gonna do is just use this track because this one kind of has the longest part of the thing. So I know I have the whole thing from beginning to end. I'm going to select that. Then what I can do is just do a standard bounce. So I'll go File, Bounce Mix, and it's going to bounce it for that length of time I have selected. I want to double check that it's taking the right source. So if I was feeding this to a different output, then I would make sure to select those. In this case, I just want whatever was already going out to the speakers. And I could select where it is going. By default, it's going to go into the Bounced Files folder inside my project folder. And I can call this like Bounced Sound Effect, you know, this was actually for a project, I'd probably label it what it was. So if this is like car crash, I'd label a car crash. And it's gonna do that and output this and there we go. And you notice I had offline selected when I did my bounce. So I had this little box selected. So if possible, it's gonna do it faster than real time. And in this case it did, it went very quickly. One thing I'll note, this will play all of these with you know any volume adjustments I've made, any panning, muting, anything like that. If there was any inserts I had put on, those would all be factored in. It's basically just like playing all this stuff and whatever is going out to the speakers, it is going to just record that. So that's a simple way to do it. The other thing you do is what's called an internal recording. And basically this means within Pro Tools itself, I'm going to record this. So I'm gonna do the same thing, have this amount of time selected, but here's the difference. I'm gonna do this just like if I was running an ADR session or a Foley session or something and I wanted to record some sounds I was making, except in this case, instead of the sounds coming in from a microphone or somewhere external, I actually want these sounds that are already within Pro Tools. So I go over to my mix here, and you'll see I made a track for sound effects mixed down. I'm gonna say I want this to record whatever's coming on some bus, doesn't matter which one I do, let's say 910. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take all of these tracks that my sound effect lives on, so all four of these that I've built this on, and I'm going to tell them to output to that same bus. And I'm actually holding down Option and Shift right now, which will do the same setting to all the selected tracks. So I selected all four of them, and it's going to make all four of them output to this bus. So you can see anything that's playing on these tracks all gets onto this bus. It gets off here and gets recorded. So now if I record enable this track, it's just like I'm listening to a microphone or something, if I had set this input to some external source, a microphone, except now what it's gonna do is just whatever is coming in on bus 910, it's going to record that. So I do that, and now if I record, it's going to record this, and you'll see this is a real-time operation now. It's like using a microphone or something, it's as it happens. But as it's playing through this, it's recording that stuff down to this sound effects mixed soundtrack. And you can actually see the levels kind of moving around here as various sound effects come in and out of this. And I'm going to just skip forward a second here because I made a sound effect that was a little too long and we don't want to have to sit here through, so be back in a second. Okay, and it finished recording, and there we go. I now have that sound effects mixed down, which is all of this stuff played together. So. Now if I want to use this sound that I made, I don't need to grab all these tracks and make sure I had all the right inserts and volume automation and everything there. I can just grab this file that I've created. You'll see, as with any recording, it by default named it the same name as the track it was recorded to with a little number after. If I want to change that, I can just double click on this with my grabber tool. I can call this mixed down whatever I want, car crash or whatever. And you'll see it gives me the option to just change the name within Pro Tools, or I can actually go ahead and rename that disk file as well, which I'm going to do that. So now if I go and look in the audio files folder for this same project, so it's in my documents folder, it's a project called temp, and go into audio files, you'll see there's my mixed down car crash left and right. If you want to see the one that I did when I used the bounce option, you can see here's my bounce files folder, and you can see here's that sound effect that I bounced out of here. So 
In this case, you notice it's a single file. It's still stereo. It's just an interleaved stereo file, meaning the left and the right are in one file, whereas in the audio files one, the left and the right are in two files. But if you actually notice, they're going to add up to the same. So these are each about 6 megs. The bounced one is about 12 megs. So it's the same exact data. It's just whether it's in one file or two. And either way, I could then take this and use it in Pro Tools, or I could bring it into some other software and use it there. So hope that's helpful as a way to take any sounds you may have designed where you're layering multiple things together and condense them, do what we call a mix down into a single file. See you next time.